My name is Otto Hilska and I'm the founder of Flowdoc. The first thing to remember about starting a company is finding a customer that actually enjoys using whatever you're building. We are Scandinavian Health Standards and we are working on indoor environmental monitoring devices. I think that the biggest down was that our initial approach was targeting hotels. We talked to hotels all over the Europe, but once they were supposed to pay or implement the service, they just backed up. Smaller failures happen every day and they're part of the learning process. Knowing how to handle failure in product development and in customer interactions, that just becomes a daily routine. So, I'm Aapo Kiso and I'm 17 years old and I'm working on Skib. My job is to develop our product uh, technical-wise. With code you can express yourself in ways unimaginable otherwise. You should just follow, follow your dreams and try to build something that excites you. Finding your core thing is something that can take a lot of time and for me, initially it was just programming, but now I've seen all the beautiful things around that. So I still code every day, but it's, it's been great to get the wider perspective by actually trying to build a product out of, out of that code. I'm excited that this will be a physical device which will be in the interiors. People will be able to see it, touch it, and it will positively influence their health. It will make their lives better, more comfortable. I've always wanted to build something that actually changes the world. So a company needs to have a meaning beyond generating revenue. So that kind of, having that kind of impact on the world is something I'm hoping to achieve with my companies. If I had $100 million, I would definitely found my own company and gather a team of uh, people I like and like make something remar remarkable that people will remember me of. <laughs>